Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Tuesday. I'm excited to start the day. I hope you are too. First things first is we need our friend Quackers. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, preschool friends. Good morning, preschool friends. Good morning, preschool friends. I'm glad you're here today. Quack, 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 quack. Great job, Quackers. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? A, B, C, D, dinosaur. That is what the D stands for. Some are big and some are small, but we love dinosaurs best of all. Thanks for your help, Quackers. Bye, friends. All right, my friends. Days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months in the year. Great job, friends. Turn on your listening ears for calendar. I'm going to stand up and I'm going to walk over here. I know it's a little hard to see, but I know you can hear me. All right, my friends, today is January, Tuesday, the 5th. Five. Let's try to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Nice job. I would say the weather today is cold again cloudy. I think it was a little rainy this morning and when I got to my car this morning there was a little bit of snow on it but it's definitely cold today. Not very sunny. All right my friends today we're going to do something new and I'm very very excited to show you and I can't wait to start with you next week in person. We're gonna start something called morning message. Morning message is going to be really fun. Together we'll do morning message once a week and we'll practice shared reading, finding letters, finding numbers, looking for capital letters, looking for lowercase letters. So much fun stuff. So let's read it and get started. Today I'm going to use my apple wand and I'm going to read morning message to you. Good morning. Today we are starting morning message. Here we'll practice lots of things. I hope you enjoy it. Let's have a great day. Love, Miss Jones. Pretty easy, huh? All right, my friends, after we read it together, that's when we're gonna be detectives and we're gonna look for things in the morning message. So let's try it today, okay? I'll put my wand down. I have my markers right here, and I think I'll use a black marker today so you can see it on the board. Now, the first thing I'm going to try to find on morning message is a number. Does anybody see a number? Remember, numbers and letters are different. I found a number. The number five. So I'm going to circle it. Hmm. Now I'm going to look for an uppercase letter. The first letter, G. This is an uppercase G, so I'm going to circle this. What should I find next? Hmm. I think now I'm going to look for a lowercase letter. And there's a lowercase letter right next to the G, lowercase O. Awesome. Found three things so far. Now it's going to be a little harder. I'm going to look for a lowercase E. Hmm. Maybe if I use my wand and I track the words, I'll find a lowercase e, lowercase e. Let's do a few more. Hmm. Now I want to find an uppercase L. I'll use my wand again, uppercase L. any upper 
lowercase l, I see a couple of lowercase l's, another lowercase l. Ooh, that's an uppercase i. Oh, an uppercase l. Awesome. Now let's find a lowercase m, a lowercase m. Right here in good morning, lowercase m. Let's see, we found one, two, three, four, five, six things so far. Let's find one more. Let's find a period. A period we usually see at the end of a sentence. Let's see. Oh, I found a period. It's really, really small. It's probably hard for you to see, but it's at the end of my first sentence. All right, my friends, let's count one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We found seven things in morning message. Did you have fun doing that? I hope so. We're gonna do this once a week with each cohort every week at school, and we're gonna have so much fun. I'm excited, I hope you're excited. All right, my friends, before I go, I have a challenge for you. Today, I want you to try to go on a number hunt at home. You can find numbers everywhere. You can find numbers in books. You can find numbers in magazines. You can find numbers on food boxes, recipes. You can find numbers everywhere. I want you to try to find as many numbers as you can. And when you find a number, I want you to write it down on a piece of paper and see how many you can find, okay? Sounds like fun, huh? All right, my friends, I'm going to go for now, but I'll see you back later for ELA, okay? Bye, friends.